Hello again and welcome back. Uh, if you don't know what time it is, clearly you are not subscribed. Uh, but for those of you who are subscribed, you already know, it's dad time. Uh, guys, like the video if you feel like it. Um, comment, uh, we'll respond back. I think I'm finally caught up. Um, and then subscribe if you feel like it again. Uh, guys, I'm just a regular dude hanging out here in the garage, just kind of kicking around, working on things, building things, and using the tools that I like. Um, but today, as promised, uh, I did want to show you that I cleaned up the workbench. Um, all of the junk and crap over here that was built up from projects and everything else. Um, I pretty much just scavenged all uh, that I found would be useful and put them in boxes underneath the operation table. Um, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into uh, the impact sets. Um, I chose Milwaukee because I like Milwaukee tools. Um, but you guys can use, you know, the Walt, uh, Harbor Freight, the Bauer, whatever, Hercules sets. Um, and I'll show you a little bit more about that, but, um, I, I chose Milwaukee cause I like them. So, um, this is my small engine set, uh, and it's designated as my small engine set primarily for these four, uh, bits here, the three eighths inch adapter and the Torx pieces. Um, most of what I've been working on, uh, in order to take off shrouds or carbs or, you know, um, air cleaners or whatever, uh, they're actually using Torx. So I've got those in here and that's the primary reason why this one is designated as my small engine. Of course, got some drill bits cause punching holes and things is always fun. Um, adapter for the little tiny little half inch. I think they're, half, anyhow, uh, those tiny little bits up there, a couple of Phillips bits just because why not? Um, you're still running those. And then I'll use like a little, um, almost like a screwdriver handle uh, that allows the quarter inch bits and everything to fit in there so I can use it by hand. So uh, again, that's my small engine set. Primarily these four are used most. This is just a, a turn around, grab it off the shelf or off the bench and just get to work. Um, this one is my everything, it is designated as my everything. Uh, reason being is because it, pretty much has everything in it. Um, these do have some Allen heads in here, so that's hand, handy. Uh, drill bits, the adapter here, uh, the longer uh, Phillips number two and square head, three eighths adapter, nut drivers. Um, I got a longer or medium sized square head, two uh, number two Phillips, um, some Torx down here, some step bits from Harbor Freight, and then that weird square head Phillips combination thing, cause why not? Um, these step bits, I, I'd use them probably no more than 18, maybe 16 gauge steel, like galvanized stuff. If you're working on an air handler or, uh, in, you know, a panel box or something like that, um, they might do it, might not. I'd probably, after using them, I'd probably invest in some higher end step bits. But, you know, I mean, I don't have $80 to show out right now. So, um, yeah, that's my everything kit. Uh, between that, the small engine set, um, usually what ends up in my go bag is, uh, these things right here. It's an Irwin set of bolt extractors. I call them the rosebud and, uh, cause they kind of look like rosebuds. Anyhow, uh, these are oftentimes what goes in my bag cause you never know when you're going to need them. And it's just to throw this in the bag. It's no big deal. Um, and then like I was saying about the, um, Harbor Freight tool sets or whatever. Guys, uh, this set of drill bits is fantastic. If you don't own this set, you need to go out and get them. I think they're like 20 bucks now or something like that. But the Titanium Hercules line drill bits, awesome. Um, I, I was extremely impressed with these. I, I think I made a separate video about this, but this always goes in my tool, kit, tool bag. Um, again, I just, everything's cleaned up here. Uh, something really cool. And this is a night and day difference. I just want to show this to you. This is the Harbor Freight light that I got yesterday. That's without the light. I Workable, but holy cow, I can see the world now. Um, night and day difference. And it's centered directly on the operation table. Uh, this is the center of the operation table and it works fantastic. One other thing, as far as my organization goes, I wanted to bring your attention to um, is this cool, nifty, thrifty, rotating peg hook tool set. Anyhow, my go-to, the drills and the impact driver, uh, gloves for yard work, gloves for welding, light welding jobs. Um, and then I've got my battery tender slash charger down there. Uh, that's just the go-to, right? And all that's nice and neat and ready for 
lawnmower is directly behind me here um, and all my rakes and shovels and everything else. So if I'm going out to do a job, I just grab these, hook them on my pants and I'm ready to rock and roll. So, um, and again, it's as easy as, you know, just grabbing the drill impact or whatever, using it, and then just coming right back, always goes in the same place. Something I learned growing up is if you use a tool, make sure you put it back. And when they have their own designated places, it's a lot easier to put back. So uh, that's kind of how uh, the rest of the bench is. Everything has its own place. Anyhow, I'm not going to go into any further detail, but that's all i got for you guys today. So um, appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.